Howdy, everybody. So today, I'm going to replace that old latch with a paracord latch. So the tools I got, leave that there. Tools I got, of course, you need your knife. I decided to tape this end up for safety purposes. It's always good practice. Position first, safety always. Got myself a tape measure here and a lighter and shitty old Bally Sun, $5 Bally Sun from Amazon. Um, for putting pressure after I turn one of these edges, I'm going to actually use this thing and use that to stomp it out. I can actually say that I use this thing. All right. So the first thing here, I'm going to try this out about two foot of paracord. So that's what you need. You need to find yourself a nice paracord. I had this stuff laying around. It's supposed to be pretty good. I use it for my uh, spear fishing, my spear gun. We'll leave that there. Get that out of here. All right. So the first things first. You're gonna want to take your knife here, find the bite handle, which is this side here where it will cut you. And you can see you have the little latches there. First thing I'm gonna do with this. This end is burn it down, and then use the ballys on here to kind of stop it out. Ooh, this is good for something. All right, this is going to help you kind of thread it through the latch portion here. Uh, this one's actually nice and open. After trying to thread it through this section a couple times, I became frustrated. I will not be trying that again. I have another ingenious idea. I'm going to open this up. I did when I took the latch out and thread it that way. I'm going to separate it here. Hopefully, I can do this with one hand. There we go. go. Alright, put the screws back in. Alright, now that the um, air cord is in there, I'm just going to pull this so it's equal length. Alright, and then we're good to go. We'll do the diamond knot. Alright. Um, you probably use a lot of other knots. All the cool kids are using the diamond knot on their bally sun as far as I've seen. I'm gonna go with that. And if you got some knot nerd friends, they might be able to hook you up with a cooler, more original knot. I'm just gonna do the one that everyone's doing because I want to be cool like all the cool kids. So first thing I got, just imagine the bally sun's attached to that. All right, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna have my middle finger kind of surrounded by the paracord there pass through. First thing I'm going to do is grab the strand that's on the, my pinky side. I'm going to do a nice little twist. Alright. And I'm going to use my thumb to hold that loop. Okay, so right now, let's see if I can this up a little bit. Alright, so right now, it should look like this. Alright. So from here, I'm going to take my other strand here, pass it underneath here. All right, then it's going to go over this one right here, underneath the original strand coming from the back of my hand, and underneath there. As you see, I took that strand over underneath here, and over this, under this. Now I'm coming out over here. Pull that out. 
All right, looking pretty good so far. So I'm just gonna cinch this up a little bit. That's kind of what you want. All right. So from here, this is gonna be our window. This is where we're gonna pass everything through, this middle section here. We'll call that the window for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the strand that's laying on the pinky side now, we're gonna wrap it around, make sure we pass it underneath around this other side. So I'm gonna take it, pass it around the strand that's up against my middle finger. All right, and then I'm gonna poke it through the middle here. All right, so do that again. Got my two strands laying here. Take this side, pinky side, I'm gonna wrap it over the top of this. So I'm gonna wrap it around and then come out through the window. All right, so here it is. One around, one around this part right here. And then it's coming out through the window. Pull that tight. I'm gonna do the same thing with the thumb side here. I'm going to take the strand from my thumb, wrap it around, around here, make sure it goes around the pinky side strand right there. Essentially, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to wrap it through here, wrap it through there, and send it out through the middle window. All right. So then the knot should look something like this. All right, from here, you're just gonna do a little tuggy tug on here. All right. All right, so there's your diamond knot right there. All right, so right now, this is the end result right here. So to get it to here, I had to do a lot of adjusting, a lot of fixing. Basically what you wanna do I found that was pretty easy. You find this one side, you find one side or the other, use that as your uh, kind of uh, strand you want to use to, you know, tighten it up. I'm going to use, use this one here. No particular reason. I will use this one. So right now what I want to do is kind of push back, find out where this goes. All right, I found out where it goes. I'm going to keep pulling on this and imagine that isn't there. Essentially you want to keep cinching it down. You can even see that. Essentially you want to keep, keep this right here. Cinch it down, just keep pulling it up and adjusting so you get it right about there. And it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of figure out exactly how much pressure you need on there, all that kind of fun stuff. So it's going to take about 10, 15 minutes unless you're really good. All right, so now that I got it kind of with the length I want, I'm going to follow this through. All right, again, this is my strand. This is the part that's attached to the belly sum. I'm going to cinch that down to where I need it. Then the other side, I'm just going to follow it around. So all of this goes to here. I'm going to pull that tight, not too tight. You want to keep it so that you can still maneuver the thing in case you have to go back, cinch it down again, which I had to do at least five or six times just to get it perfect where it actually latched and everything went good. Now I'm just going to keep rolling through here, not pulling too tight. All right, until I get to the end, I pull it in through, and then it's. And it's uh, yeah, it's right, nice and tight. Then again, you can kind of tighten it down again. Kind of see where you're at, and then you may even have to do it again. So you don't really want to wrench on it too hard until you kind of overcompensate. Um, try and make sure that the latch actually holds. All right, so after you go through and figure out exactly what length you need, is going to be the end result here. As you can see, I'm putting pressure on there, it's not going. All right, next step, I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. 
right at the base there. I can't do it. Alright. We're gonna take the end there. Clear it up. And then use our cheap alley sun to push it in there. Alright. We got it. Sit tight. Alright. That's it. So we got a new latch. One thing after looking at this, obviously this thing is huge. Um, I believe this paracord is a survival cord. Seven strand, it's pretty big. I think what I'm going to do, since this is so all this and bulky, I'm going to order some new paracord. Thinner paracord, so this thing doesn't have a big fall on it. All right, same steps are going to work with smaller paracord, uh, except it's going to look, it can be so bulky here. All right, thanks for watching. Do some flipping with this and kind of see how it works now. We got rid of that tin can flanking sound. All right, thanks for watching. Hello, everybody, back again. So. Back again with the latch, the new latch. You can see it doesn't come apart very easily, which is awesome. Um, it's still a little bit too big for me, so I'm going to order some new, new smaller paracord and try again. For now, we'll see how this this works out. Got a lot of bounce, a lot of bounce back going on. All right. All right, sounds a little bit better. That's all I got. That's all I know. Latest. Yeah, I grew up here because of that tape. Have a good one. Music is my drum. Music is my drum. Music, music is my drum.